of the nasty potato salad. If you are ready for the delicious potato salad, this episode is for you. Let's just say you're scared of potato salad. Uh oh, y'all, we're gonna reset. We are on a, 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 a basic network and we want to upgrade to a good network. That way your watching experience today is the absolute best. So if you're watching right now, the studio, potato salad is a must, right? You always want delicious potato salad. Everybody asks that question. Who made the potato salad, right? We, we don't want no bad potato salad. We don't want no problems here today. But I don't have an apron on, but you know it's okay because I'm Chef Laquita Marie and I'm a superfood parent. I hope you are too, David Hunt. I know that you feed your family fruits and vegetables. I'm sure y'all eat potato salad. I'm sure you don't want it to slap somebody because of the potato salad. But look, Six Bowls is back and she says, I want that, but I'll take this. Okay, <laughs> so y'all come on in. You know what to do. Put in hashtag health heroes. Today is an interesting day because as you see, look at this bun, y'all. I'm coming a little unraveled. Just thinking about, you see that one right there? And we got some up here, right? Just thinking about uh, people like G. Albert putting in the wrong hashtag. This is a potato salad recipe for hashtag health heroes, G. Albert. Okay, so get it together because Coach Mary Ma is from Cameroon. She's got it together. She's in here saying, hey, everyone. And Gail at night is reminding you all that if you have ever wondered how do I make potato salad that's nutritious, delicious, or you, you probably weren't even worried about the nutritious and delicious part. You just wanted something good, right? The nutritious, you scrap. We really want delicious. Click the like button. Gail at night is telling you what to do. I got so many things to show you all today, not just potato salad, but I have some magic. So that means rather than have my camera here for the, my rather than have my camera here for the pot that's going to be cooking, Y'all, where's the pot? I'm gonna go get the pot, but not right now. Cause you know, Gail at night is telling you all that. Um, well, everybody's talking, but Gail at night is also telling you all that this episode is not time to pay bills, but it's powered by Roll Java. Okay. So rolljava.com is our coffee blend. It's one of our businesses that helps support this broadcast. So if you're trying to figure out how am I going to use rutabaga, potatoes, parsnips, onions, sweet potatoes, in potato salad, you're at the right place, okay? Uh, I've had my roll java this morning. I am powered up. Uh, wait, hold, hold up. I saw y'all looking at the sneak peek. Yes, we do have a playbook. It's, it's not time to pay bills, but you know, if you are here and you are a health hero, like G. Albert said, hashtag health heroes for the win. Yes, get in there, put in hashtag health heroes. You might win this book today if you put in hashtag health heroes. Not this book but this book and our pasta playbook that's coming out because all of these recipes, when I cook live, this, these recipes are going to end up, some of them anyways, in our playbooks, our recipe books. A lot of you are trying to figure out how do I cook delicious food all the time? Well, first we are going to start by chopping up a lime, excuse me, chopping up an onion and putting lime juice um, and soaking that onion in lime juice, okay? So right now, I'm not really super concerned about the cooking pot because you know for potato salad, you do have to cook your potatoes. We are going to do that. However, on my chopping block right now, I'm just going to take this lime and I'm going to slice it. Hold on, hold up, hold up. Oh, I thought we did not have a knife. Y'all know this is my only knife. My Cutco knife I've had for 20 years. Do y'all know I thought that knife was gone? It, I have it here. So what we're going to do, if you've never done this, let me tell you why you want to cut your knife. Uh, let me tell you why you want to cut your onion and put it into lime juice. It takes the place of pickles. Yes, you can put pickle relish into your potato salad, but I can't remember if I have any or not. So, you know, Coach Mary Ma says, let's go. Her plate is ready. Ana Nia is here. And David Hunt has never had raw potato salad. So don't worry. Once we chop up our onions and put them in the lime juice, that will give us a pickle relish flavor. So that's the only part that's going to be raw in this dish. Trust and believe 
we're going to get the pot so that we can cook it. So speaking of magic, y'all, Coach Mary Ma says your magic knife. What I'm going to show you all today is a little bit of magic with Canva. Y'all know as a Canva associate, I don't know if I'm an associate still or not because I needed to have a certain amount of people subscribe to me in order to keep that status. So as I chop this onion, and I'm gonna chop it sort of small, so this way when I finish chopping it and it goes into the potato salad, we have kind of small pieces, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you something in Canva simply because whether I'm an affiliate now when you're watching this or later I return to be being a an affiliate for Canva, it's a place where everybody should be, right? So, you know, of course, everybody's all about like, let me make some money. I got to make money in this digital space and money is great. However, when you have the resources you need, uh, you don't necessarily need just cash, right? Say, for example, she fires. Hey there, Kelly, how are you today? She fires has the resources she needs. So if she fires, goes into a convenience store and realizes she does not have her wallet, she can just reach on her hip, get that firearm and you know what I'm saying? Do it, do what you gotta do. <laughs> Y'all know Kelly is not that type of lady. She is a lady, much like Share With Love TV, my favorite Nigerian, oh, hey there, Share With Love. So good to see you here. If you all are not Nigerian, like uh, Share With Love TV, don't worry. It's not an insult to you. Not all of us can be Nigerian. Now y'all know I love my Africans. Coach Mary Ma is Cameroonian and I would be Cameroonian, but I was just saying we don't need money, but we do. Which means um, the Nigerians are known for being money makers. Um, so that's why I like being a Nigerian y'all. Real, real talk, real talk, okay? So let's get back to today's magic. Uh, potato salad, right? Why would you, hold on. David Hunt, uh, this is G. Albert talking to David Hunt. David, don't you want to use your tweezers to clip that strain of hair on the live stream? I told y'all, I'm kind of unraveled today. I got one little one right there, one little one right here. That's called ADD in action. It might be ADHD in action. So if you are, if you have either of those diagnoses or if you don't, but you would like to adopt them to be more productive, let me tell you, those of us that have determined we got to have something. It, it might be the food from the 80s, uh, the processing. There's something that we've got, but we've got a sort of resiliency that just won't let us stop. OK, so let me tell you about Urinator. Y'all know Urinator is a, a troll that comes through and always have the most funny, funniest commentator commentation. But uh, Coach Mary Mobby Dog and Urinator out. So Yuri is the first name. Nader is the last name. But, you know, it's a troll that likes to be called by the full name because it's more funny that way. And I, I, I embrace all stuff. That potato salad looks amazing. Does it have any milk products in it? I'm lactose intolerant. Of course, I don't eat animals. I don't eat animal products. So of course you could make this with regular mayonnaise, which does not have any milk products in it anyways. So no matter how you make this, I'm making mine today with a lot of non-dairy uh, mayonnaises. I'm going to show you my favorite one, which is, um, this one is follows... No, no, no. I want Veginase. Follow your heart brand. They make Veginase. Okay. And so the everyday life of an OCD is chick. She loves potato salad, right? She has her own garden, which means she can make this herself from probably from some of the ingredients. She can make this potato salad. This is, um, Nate, who is this? Simple Truth. They also have a plant-based mayo. And then I have another one by Hellman's. If you all are brand specific, um, Hellman's, they offer a vegan, I'm trying to get the light right. There we go. Hellman's offers a vegan option, okay? So that means whoever you are, if you love, if you love potato salad, this is for you. So business talk with Kay. Hey there, hey, hey, hey. Y'all know we just said, okay, money is not everything, but the Nigerians are all about money. This is why I love business talk with Kay. Business Talk with Kay is a money person that will go live randomly, will be talking trash, but guess who talks business? Business Talk with Kay. He was just telling us the other day, and I lurk a lot on his channel, he was telling us all about how the um, he's been making money on a channel with 68 subscribers, but it's the contracts that he's getting from those videos. 
I've done the same thing. Y'all know I do not have a lot of subscribers, right? And so um, I have a lot, by the way. I just don't have like 10,000, right? Or 25,000, like some of the people. So I'm squeezing this lime into the onions. I'll let this sit. So uh, I was talking to the Jehovah Witness channel that I was on and, and we were talking about making money, like how our channels make money. And I told her, I, I'm like business talk with Kay. I've gotten a $10,000 contract from this particular channel right here. Networking with the guests that come on, I've gotten a $10,000 contract, just straight up. Um, I also got a contract where we collaborated with some other folks and that contract, like the total contract was about 40 something thousand. And our part, I think we made about 18, something, something in that uh, neighborhood, okay? Um, as far as what we had to pay out and all of that kind of stuff. So look, there's money to be made, right? You don't just have to make money from certain things. Let me wipe my hands and I'm going to juice another one because with these onions, what you want to do um, as you follow this recipe, urinator, yes, follow this recipe because I know you're saying you're gonna follow this, you love potato salad. And I know that Nikki is saying that money helps. Look. Money, money is a tool that really helps the world go round. And so thank you, Coach Mary Ma, for celebrating me with those wins. I know that Coach Mary Ma is also saying there's no worries. Her country of beautiful Cameroon and Nigeria are closest neighbors. So they go to and fro from both countries on foot. So guess what? Uh, Coach Mary Ma, uh, this is why you've been a bestie, right? Because you're just so amazing. All right. I'm going to explain this from the perspective. I'm going to show you this these onions and this lime juice, you want it to be covered. Like you want your onions, you want to kind of see the lime juice over the onions. Right now, y'all can still see some onions at the top and they're kind of dry, right? You want to just make sure your lime juice covers your onions. So if you look in there, you can see some juice about to spill out, but you want it to be really full. There we go. I'm trying to get the light so you all can see it all covered up. If it does not cover it, the other trick to do is put the lid on your container and every two minutes, just flip it. So that way the onions on the bottom get in there and the onions on top get in there, okay? So remember y'all, we're not using our food cam today because we're using that to uh, show you something fun on Canva. So thank you, G. Alba, for reminding David Hunt that it didn't you learn back in the day not to mess with a talented chef with a knife my cut cold knife. Look, this ain't going to hurt nobody. That's the only pro problem, right? Urinator says there was some dairy in your cheesecake that you had in the morning. It gave you a lot of gas. Slunk up your rooms. Uh, Y'all know I got a sweet smelling kitty episode, which this way, if you have to have any of those gassy episodes, yes, um, it will eliminate that. So in the in that particular kit for sweet smelling kitty, I'll show you where to go before we finish our recipe because right now I have my onions and my lime juice upside down. I'm going to get to Kelly's question in a, in a moment about how these mayonnaises taste because all of the vegan mayonnaises that I've tried, they just taste like mayonnaise. The Hellman's brand tastes like Hellman's regular mayo. The Veginase has a wonderful light flavor and the uh, plant-based by Simple Truth is very similar to the, the Hellman's, I would say. The problem with all of them that I found is that they all have canola oil, which is like probably too, just as detrimental as if not more than eggs in the regular mayonnaise. So they all do have a significant amount of oil, which is why we have all of our superfoods going into our dish today. So I'm going to address that. Um, so thank you, She Fires, for that question. It looks like I've already addressed it. I'm going to go back to the stinky smells that come from people, okay? Um, let's see. Um, urinator, I'm with you. If I if I could scam old people and feel good about it, I would not be here. It's it's not. I don't think that's the way you should go. Don't scam old people. Scam scam your peers. Okay. So here we are, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm just kidding. Don't scam. Don't scam anybody. When you come here, this is how you get rid of those stinky smells. Your uh, Amazon superfood parents. We have created a kit for you called uh, Sweet Smelling Kitty. Let's see where it is. There's the Love Machine Kit. Sweet Smelling Kitty right here. The first thing you'll see here is chlorophyll. So if you are not using black soap, that's one thing that I use. If you're not scrubbing with these mesh uh, mesh sponges like the Africans do that keeps yourself sweet, um, 
if you're not using all of these things, what you want to do first is grab you some chlorophyll. Okay. So what happens with the chlorophyll, it, it's like an instant deodorizer. You just take a few drops. It has a sweet taste. And this one is even a peppermint flavor. So it will, yeah, the, the things inside your body that are coming out will actually be neutralized. So let's make sure we address all things because one thing that I realized is that when I went plant-based, you're welcome for the tip share with Love TV. When I went plant-based, yeah, it definitely um, made a difference. Absolutely. Uh, you're welcome, she fires. And of course, your native says, I would love to support your Amazon store. I'll use that link. So <laughs> you're like most of us. Sometimes you like to stink up the rooms on purpose. You know what? I don't mind making a wave. I will say that. So, but I will say, no, don't scam anybody, okay? Uh, Business Talk with Kay is a money person. He's a legitimate money person. That's what you want to be. So let's get into some news, okay? While I'm getting into the news, I'm going to chop up our rutabaga because the rutabaga is a hard vegetable that you want to boil first. So that way it gets soft at the same time that the potatoes get soft. So first I'm going to start with my rutabaga. I'll put into the boiling water my parsnip. And I'm only using, I don't know if I'm going to use a whole parsnip because they have a peppery taste. Then in my potato salad into the boiling water, I'm going to add a sweet potato. People used to always think these were carrots when they saw it in the potato salad, but it actually blends. It doesn't make it sweet. And finally, I will add my white potatoes. And these white potatoes are Yukon Golds. They tend to be creamy. Uh, Yukon Gold potatoes tend to be more creamy. So that's why we're adding those last because they also get soft fairly quickly. So let's get into the news, y'all. The superfood scoop is what the news is. I'm just going to peel off the outside of my rutabaga. And once I get into, once I finish these quick announcements, I would love to uh, go ahead and do our Faves 100 giveaway. Okay, so quick tips. Number one, uh, Sonovia is here. So thank you for being here, Sonovia. I love having the old and the new. Not that she's an old person, she's an old friend. And so I was, uh, last month, September, was one of my best months. So say for example, Sonovia might not know this, but you know, we rebranded when our host, our former host was quiet quitting and then had to go ahead on and publicly quit because that was getting to be too difficult. And I realized, let me just tell people what's going on. Because if you don't talk about it, people don't know. And of course, at the end, you get blamed. And it's like, how about how my fault? Then somebody said they were gonna do something and I believed them and then they said they weren't, they, then they didn't do it. Then I had to keep picking up the pieces and then what happened was, look, y'all, so here we are, we've rebranded, we're enjoying this space, and since we've really embraced it, the month of September, we started making these changes in July, and then August, we fully were in with Cooking Live, giving you all these health tips, making sure we were on things with our being a fave hero, fruits and vegetables, every spread, y'all. 50% of every meal should be fruits and vegetables. If you do that, you're good. You don't have to worry about counting calories, counting carbs, right? So once we figured out how we were going to present, what our call to action was, getting people to eat their faves, we really set a good stride. So now the news. You know, I also started picking up more shifts because I've been a nurse for what, 30 years? Child. When I tell you this knife is super amazing, everyday life of an OCD chick, I cannot say enough of it because I'm so happy it's on your wish list. These rutabagas are hard. You got to put a little bit of muscle behind it, but they cut right through it fairly easy. And remember, this is the 20 year old one. So I started picking up more shifts as a nurse because I'm still a nurse. Most of my clients are respiratory clients. Um, they like, you know, trach, vent dependent, you know, they're on a ventilator all the time or at night or whatever. And once you have that experience, you, you tend to be in high demand. Any nurse is in high demand. However, I will say this makes a difference. So what happens is when you are um, picking up more shifts and just being more amenable, uh, being as pleasant as you are, because I tend to be a pleasant person until I'm mean, what happens is you get employee of the month. So guess who got employee of the month last month? And y'all know some of us have jobs, some of us don't. Some of y'all might get with this, some of y'all won't. But let me clear my pockets because I think it comes with a cash award. And y'all know we said money is not everything, but look, it helps, right? 
So that's part of the news. The other part is, and you all saw this, I was uh, contacted when I started just embracing the food. I was contacted to be on the news with, and I was in the background on the news, Dr. Neil Barnard of PCRM. So, you know, I got that contract. Check came in the mail, all of that good stuff. Got paid, okay. Um, so, you know, that happened last month. Another thing that happened last month, there were like four different wins. I'm trying to remember. What's the other one? Oh, I got the contract with um, the adult day centers because I'll be there again tomorrow and I'll actually be cooking a very similar uh, recipe. So that way you all will be able to see who really likes this food. Is it just Quita or is it also the people that she's cooking it for? Notice I'm cutting this into cubes the si about the size that you would have for potato salad. Okay, so that's all I'm doing. So you look, more money, more money, right? Coach Mary Ma, she says more money coming. Thank you so much, uh, Sonovia Indigo. She says, Laquita, you are a true businesswoman. Congrats for being employee of the month. Thank you so much. Because, you know, a lot of people will tell you, so let's just say, for example, if you all are watching um, Antoine on, Lord, what's the man's name? Um, he's always telling us about the tech job. He's a tech salesman. And um, Lord, now I don't forgot the channel name because we watch each other all the time. He always talks about have your full-time job fuel and finance your uh, business if that's what you need to do or just have it for so that way um, if you have a full-time job and you know it gives you all the perks you need will also run your business you know and that's what's been happening with my full-time job it's not full-time but I do work a lot what happens is the money from there it helps to uh, pay for some of the things that I need for my business, right? And then of course I get all the other perks and stuff like that. So that's basically the scoop that I had for you all is that, you know, several announcements. We wanted to be sure that you all were aware of all these good things that are happening and Superfood Parents, oh, launched the book. That's what it was. I got the book done last month, right? And that was just the workbook. You all, for those of you that don't know, the book is on the website, superfoodparents.com, scrolling right there at the bottom of your screen, that's superfoodparents.com. Uh, that is not where you would get this knife though, you know, cause this knife is not good for practicing ninja skills and blade throwing. Remember, this knife is super safe. It won't cut anyone. So that's the nice part about this particular knife. I did want to address your question, urinator. So here we go with, if you go here to superfoodparents.com, this is where you can discover which faves hero you are, but this is where you also can get the book, okay? So remember this book, is it helps you to plan your meals. It has uh, grocery lists in it. It has notes in it. It has all of those good things, okay? So make sure, hey, you are getting in fruits and vegetables every spread. Uh, now, if you are or if you aren't, you still can be awarded the title of Faves 100 Hero. So that means right now we're about to do our giveaway, okay? If you have not already put in hashtag health hero, then make sure you put it in to the chat so this way you can be named, you know, health hero for today. You might be a plant-powered titan. That means you're automatically going to get kudos for 100 points of 80 or more points of fruits and vegetables. Let's just show you a video. So this way, I think I think this is the video that explains which health hero you are. What I'll do is I'll just share this video from YouTube because I don't think I have it built into the studio where we are because y'all know we're powered by StreamYard. So that means if you're not using StreamYard but you would like to be as fancy as me, then all you have to do is go to uh, the link in the video description that takes you right here, okay? It'll bring you right here. So let me just show you and share with you how fancy you can be. Um, this will help you to figure out also, you know, like I said, what type of superhero are you? So let's go to that video, let's share it. And just a moment, y'all, because I just did something and I don't know what I did. Let's do it again, let's fix it. 
luckily i am tech savvy so i got this under control if you have not put in hashtag health heroes like david hunt has done do that oh thank you so much coach mary moss says we are so very proud of our very own beautiful chef laquita marie you are phenomenal thank you so much for your service and for selflessly sharing your talents look if you win i win if uh david hunt wins the rest of us win if gail at night wins we all win right so that's the whole point we all want to win so let's get on let's get on with it here is the here's how you figure out which superhero you are okay this way when you put in hashtag health heroes you'll know exactly what you're doing you'll know what you're competing for because some people are like what's she talking about you know she keeps saying be a health hero for your loved ones eat 50 percent of every meal fruits and vegetables how am i going to do that today's potato salad as you notice it has about five different fruits and vegetables we got potatoes rutabagas parsnips sweet potatoes and onions that's five different things in this one particular dish that's how you become a super a, a faves 100 superhero or a health hero for your loved one so here we go here we go lord child if you're on my website and it's asking you to reload it might be messed up don't go to plant-based treats because that one's getting reset go to uh superfoodparents.com that one will hook you up synovia um hey there lenora Lenora, put in hashtag health heroes, please, because we are now that's Lenora from the Love and Live show. She showed me how to upload my book onto Amazon KDP. So if you need an affordable consultant, <laughs> go to Love and Live show, y'all. She's quite affordable. So here we go with uh, which superfood parent are you? This is going to help you figure all of those things out. OK, so here we go. I don't think I have it at double speed. Let me make sure I don't. Oh, it's at normal speed. But since this is a two minute video, I'm gonna put it at one and a half speed because y'all know uh, my patience is short. The ADD, the ADHD, one of those makes it happen. Let's Where go. Are you? In the bustling city of Neutraville, a group of extraordinary individuals has emerged, known far and wide as the superfood parents. They are on a mission to transform their families' lives through the power of nutrition, one delicious bite at a time. Meet Chef Lakita Marie, the culinary mastermind behind the superfood parents' playbook. With boundless enthusiasm, she welcomes you to embark on a thrilling journey to becoming a true superfood hero. But what exactly does that mean? In Nutraville, superfood parents are everyday heroes. These superfood parents lead the charge for better health, but not with cakes. They lead with carrots, and whole food fats like avocados. And instead of masks, they lead with mangoes and berries. Fruits and vegetables are the disease-destroying arsenal of heroes. Are you a disease-destroyer superhero for your loved ones? Fruits and veggies fuel the mission of heroes like Veggie Vixen. Are you a Veggie Vixen for your loved ones? dedicated to ensuring their loved ones thrive on a diet rich in faves, fruits, and vegetables. Here's your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to guide your family to superhero status by reaching the highest levels of health and wellness daily. Become a plant-powered titan, a superfood avenger, or even a face crusader by earning 5 points for every fruit or vegetable eaten. It's a fun-filled quest where nutrition meets excitement. All of the digital details are at superfoodparents.com for the full experience. Superfood Parents has also created workbooks, where you'll discover the tools you need for success. These workbooks give you the heroic strategy to craft your grocery list like a seasoned hero, which means you now have a playbook to even track your weekly meals like a true champion. And engage in mind-bending nutritional education with word searches that will keep your family entertained and informed. So, are you ready to join the ranks of the superfood parents? Are you prepared to unleash the power of faith and make every meal a heroic endeavor? If so, flip the page of a superfood playbook and let's begin your journey to becoming the ultimate superfood hero. To become a sponsor, just visit superfoodparents.com. All right, y'all. So what we've done so far is we have hopefully helped you to understand which health hero you are. Thank you so much, Love and Live Show, for putting in hashtag health heroes. Y'all see we got our rutabaga in the pan. We're just going to put it here with a little bit of water and put the lid on so that way that can start boiling. And oh, Coach Mary Ma says she is gradually working on becoming a citizen of Nutraville. Exactly. That's what you want to do. We know you're driving, uh, Queen Lenore, and thank you for being here. Even though you can't chat, this is a great experience to understand how you can make better potato salad, okay? Potato salad where they will be asking you, y'all, I'm going to turn my onions over because remember we put these onions in lime juice. So they are going to be asking you who made the potato salad. 
Now, if y'all are wondering who made the music that we're listening to right now, this superfood beat, it was Von Eric. Where's your faith? Thank you so much, Von Eric, for bringing the music to us. We appreciate your talents and your generosity. Uh, thank you so much. Now, Kelly, though, on the other hand, hey, thank you so much. She just bought some of the coffee, that RollJava.com coffee. She says, thanks for your tips on chlorophyll for detox. I was looking for something simple and gradual. Yeah. You know, chlorophyll is one of those things that it's already in the food, right, that we're eating. So I guess that's the reason why when I went plant-based um, and stopped eating animals and I eat so many more, I was already eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I guess because I was also eating animals and animal products, then I would still, um, I still would smell. I had to put the odor on and take a shower every day and all that stuff. Now I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to admit whether, whether or not I take a shower every day or what time of day. All I'm gonna say is if I skip one, nobody knows the difference, okay? So the chlorophyll is already in the food and it really makes a difference in, in keeping you fresh and literally odorless, okay? Uh, here's the other thing that I want to mention about chopping up the parsnips. Because parsnips have this peppery flavor, I'm going to chop these a little bit smaller, sort of like with the onions, so they can act as an accent to everything, all right? So remember first, we added our rutabagas to the water then the next thing that we are going to add to this dish, this is potato salad, because remember a salad is all things mixed up. So first we have here our rutabaga. Next, we're going to add our parsnips. After that, we'll add our sweet potato because you want some color in it, right? And that color is flavor and it's nutrients as well. After the sweet potato, we will add our white potato and I even have an egg substitute. For those of you that like your potato salad with eggs, a lot of us do, then we'll make sure that we get that in as well. So let me make sure I can see everything that's happening. Let's see. <laughs> it looks like we have, we are at our 30 minute mark for this episode, which means this show has to come together super fast, right? The nice thing is that it will come together pretty quickly because first we're going to do our Faves 100 giveaway. Now that I've explained to you how this potato salad comes together and then once everything is in the boiling water, potatoes take about one, I would say three minutes to get soft because when you chop them up, they get soft. All right, so let's see. Uh, Von Eric, where's your faith? I was trying to wait until you put in hashtag health hero so you could win since you gave us the music, right? Make sure you put in hashtag health heroes, okay? Uh, this way, when you put it in, it will, um, it will register. You have at health heroes, and, but you have everything spelled right otherwise. I don't know why y'all, but there's only one person entered. So if you've already put it in, put it in again. It's not me. It's I don't know what's up, but Whitney, I don't know if you're the only one in there right now. Hey there, it's Goga. Y'all know Goga is over in Kenya. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my sweet potato while my um, rutabaga is boiling. And then I'm also going to show y'all that secret on Canva that I found out about because you know I love Canva and um, Yoga with Goga is a very creative person. Y'all see, as y'all put it in, you can see the numbers increase yourself. That's why I have that on the screen so that you all can see, you know, that it's not me rigging it up. As you put in hashtag health heroes, that number does change. And I'm making these potato cubes about the same size as our white potato cubes will be. Because potato is the main dish, you want those cubes to be nice and large. Thank you so much, popcorn in it. NMG. Hey, we got uh, Team DWC and the whole team in here. Thank you for putting that in. Uh, Six Bowls is back, is in there because you know Kelly uh, is talking to her. They're talking to each other. Sonovia, I don't know what's up with my websites. I apologize. All I can do is say, y'all look, follow this link that Gail is dropping because I think it'll take you to this knife. It'll show you how to buy this knife that I'm working with, this 20 year old knife that still puts sweet potatoes and rutabagas like butter. Well, not really, because y'all see me working a little hard, but you know what I'm trying to say. 
is possible. And if the knife slips, you don't get cut. So that's the nice part. I've gotten nicked a little bit and that's even with force. So now that I've got my parsnip, I have had my parsnip chopped into smaller bits. I had my sweet potato um, getting cut up and to the same size that I'm going to cut my white potatoes, I'm going to throw both of those into the pan because the rutabaga has been boiling now for about two, two moments. Look, she fires it. I already won before, but I'll play child up. That was the other day. You got to win again today, okay? So y'all look, click the like button. And I say, we find out who today's Babes 100 hero is. Let's just run it. We'll just click the button and whoever wins, wins, right? Because remember, if you win, you'll win one of our books. When, as soon as the pasta playbook is released, because we have our marketing coach redesigning our website, Remember, I got uh, employee of the month last month, came with a cash bonus that helped me to afford a marketing person so that if I don't have the time or the talent, boom, she can just build it out, right? So they say either you have time or money, which one you got more of. Right now, look, thanks to my high school education, uh, I've been a nurse, LPN for all this time. Now I got more money, you know? So let's do it because look, as Coach Mary said, the more the merrier. Even though she's not talking about money, she's talking about the more the merrier went, the more wins the merrier, the more money too. So here we go. Popcorn NFG, you have it in there. Everybody has it in there. Who is today's Phase 100 hero? Let's see. Six poses back. Go, 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 go. Uh, popcorn. I mean, ooh, NFG. Sit. Coach Mary Moss, she fires. Von Eric, where's your faith? Coach Mary Moss is supposed to back. David Hunt, where on Eric, where's your faith? Coach Mary Moss, yo, go, win. go. It's always winning. Holly does it. Win, win, win. Congratulations. Yoga with Goga. Congratulations on win, winning again and again. I am getting burnt by the steam. This is why I wear long sleeves. Woo! Praise God. Amen. <laughs> this stuff is hot. Uh, look at you. Goga is in there laughing because, you know, the winners, we stay happy. I don't know if y'all watch Goga's channel. He is over there. Uh, always living life, always having a good time, and everybody's excited for him. The everyday life of No CD's chick is a fan of his. So is Coach Mary Ma. Sonovia Indigo is happy for him. Popcorn NFGs, even she fires. And then we even have a sourpuss. Look at Whitney O'Neill Williams, as fabulous as she is, talking about it's rigged, but congrats. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Put the congr haters gonna hate, but you gotta show the love, okay? And I will give you all Goga's acceptance speech as I finish putting the parsnips and the sweet potatoes into the pot. Goga is saying, thanks everyone. But y'all know he's Kenyan and they roll their, their R's. Thanks everyone. I think that's how he would say it, but you know, my accent for different cultures, it ain't all that great. What I will say is, congratulations Goga, you are today's Babes 100 hero. What does that mean, Goga? That means that automatically you have a you are a plant powered titan. You have that status, okay? Some of us are chunks. We're at the bottom, right? We, we we can't get there. We don't have 80 points of fruits and vegetables yet for today. Oh, let me put the top on these on, on this food after I stir it up. Uh, some of us are are aspiring to be you though, because you're over there hours ahead of us. I'm on the I'm on Eastern Standard Time. So you've had a few hours ahead of us, Goga. I'm gonna put the lid on this so that the sweet potatoes and the parsnips can get soft. And some of us are superfood Avengers. We only have 50 points, okay? And then, excuse me, 65 points. Some of us are aspiring to be Babes Crusaders so that, you know, we can hopefully get at least 50 points. But no matter what we do, Whitney O'Neill Williams is saying it the best way. We love a win, okay? David Hunt, talk about his rig. Ah, uh, thank you, Von Eric. Where's your face for that? Congratulations. I'm gonna chop, I'll start chopping up a potato. Um, and Yoga with Goga says, Enemies of okra shall never know peace. Y'all know who the enemy of okra is, David Hunt. This is why you can't win right now. Um, I, I hate to just be frank with you, David Hunt, but if you love okra the way me and Goga and Whitney, Whitney, do you love okra? If not, just say yes. If you love okra, the way me and Whitney and, and Goga loves Oprah and all the other people on this channel, you would win more often, okay? That's all we're trying to say, David Hunt. But guess what y'all can do in the meantime? Subscribe to Yoga with Goga if you have not already. I know today he's going to be showing right after my broadcast, he's going to be showing how to get free music from the YouTube library. Like use what you already have. 
everybody can't be a David Hunt where we are making our own music, where we can play for hours, right? All of us are not David Hunt. Now, Whitney says she's not an enemy of, <laughs> not an enemy of, oh yes, oh, of course I love her, good. You love Oprah, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm just slicing up my potatoes because I'm going to add those here to the pot in just a moment. Look, Six Bowls is back, says free is awesome. That's the best price ever, okay? Everyday life of an OCP is chick is laughing along with Coach Mary Ma. Why? Because they're fans of Oprah. Love and Live show is even showing love because that's a part of her channel name. She's saying, congratulations, Yoga with Goga. So now here's the thing. We have our in the pot. Let me just review the recipe. Let's reset. So this way, if you have a history of nasty potato salad in your life, you've been suffering, you know, and you're like, let me just make it myself because these people aren't aren't doing it, right? And we got some losers in the house. You're right, Coach Mary Ma, but we talking about culinary losers. Some of these folks can't not get their pan together. I'm going to turn my onions upside down so that they all can soak in that lime juice. Because remember, I have them in this plastic container. I only juiced one lime. Instead of cutting another one to cover the onions, I just put the lid on and I keep flipping it like you're marinating those onions in the lime juice, okay? So let's re reset. We got the onions and the lime juice. That's going to give us that pickly flavor without all the salt that you would typically have in potato salad or pickle relish or those processed foods. Then we have in the pan our rutabaga boiling to get soft. We have our sweet potatoes boiling to get soft. And we also have our parsnips chopped sort of finely because parsnips give us that peppery flavor in there boiling to get soft. Remember, salad means a bunch of stuff mixed together. So we have the star of our show, our sweet potato is already in there and our white potatoes. Typically you will see white potatoes and potato salad as a main player, okay? But here we go with this particular um, dish. It's, it has a combination of delicious things, right? The Sheila Ingram Ministries Network. Hey there, so good to see you here. Y'all know I was featured on her uh, one of her shows. Thank you, Six Bow. She says, okra is fire. There's not even any okra in this dish today, right? Once we get all of these things together and the potatoes boil, we're just gonna throw them in a bowl and we will add to them some egg substitute, which for today, my egg substitute is this organic tofu. And all I'm going to do is add black salt and a little bit of oil. Lord Jesus, a whole potato just fell. Oh no, it wasn't, it was just a slice. Uh, all I'm going to do is add some black salt, which gives it an egg flavor. And it actually gives it an egg smell, which makes you think that it has an egg flavor. And and then we'll be done. See, Whitney O'Neill Williams said, this is the potato salad you can bring to any function. Boom. And I can't remember if you've ever tasted this one when I've made it, Whitney, because I know you've tasted a lot of my food. So I don't know. Y'all just be sure to uh, follow what Gail at Night is telling you to do and text the word FAVES, F-A-V-E-S, to 757-231-3949 to stay alert and get in the loop. To get in the loop and stay alert. What? Which one is it? Get alerts and stay in the loop? One of those. Just text FAVES, 757-231-3949. All right. So now I'm going to turn these potatoes down because I need to add some more water to this dish. And I've got my rutabaga sweet potato, parsnips. I'll add the, these potatoes and then I'll add a little bit more water. So I don't have my, my, remember I don't have my food camera because I'm going to be using my phone. So Bravo with Sheila Network, I know you, it doesn't matter which network you're on. Child, we know who you are, you're famous. You are a, what do you call those people? who sing, they're on stage, they get paid, they're on Spotify, they're on YouTube, they're on all the places we can actually pay for their music. You're a celebrity, like you're a real person. Bravo with Sheila Network. <laughs> so whatever network you're on, we just love having celebrities in the house, okay? Celebrities like black girls getting their shift together, people that are making a difference in the world. She's saying, hey, beautiful people. Look, I wish you were here along with Coach Mary Ma, black girls getting their shift together. So that way you could taste this potato salad because it slaps. I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow. Remember I got that contract with uh, with Skyline 21 Day Center because they're the ones that are uh, getting me the plug for all the other adult centers, which means rather than, remember, excuse me, let me back up. 
we said money doesn't matter, you, but you do need it. So rather than me just cooking live for the for the hoping that y'all can buy me a coffee or something like that, because I never hope for that. I would rather you just learn and live your life because I have my own income. I want my money from the, the corporations, right? I, I love to have, I mean, a, cash is a huge compliment, but I really love to have the compliments of a corporation. Those are the best compliments. Why? Because they have funding. And I've experienced that over the years. And I've seen, you know, anytime I can get paid $2,500 for one hour. Yes, y'all. I've had storytelling contracts. $2,500 for a one hour show. Did I have expenses out of that? Yes. So all of those were not my absolute, um, that, that was the revenue, but it was not the proceeds. It was not the profits, right? So anytime I could do that, that's how I know that cash rules everything around me. So let's get this money, okay? It's easy to do. And then you can use it as a tool. So let's go ahead and we have that going. Uh, the potatoes are now boiling. Let's make sure they are all the way up so they can boil because we're in overtime, y'all. This is going to be a one hour show. Whitney O'Neill Williams says, your food is so good. I have not had this one, but I have had a, I, I have a chef here that's going to make this. She loves potato salad. Look, let me show you all this potato salad recipe in a jiffy. So this way, when you see this recipe, if you don't want to watch the whole video today, you can actually watch this very short plant-based treat recipe. And what it'll do is it'll give you everything that I'm saying in about two minutes or less, okay? It'll even show you how the tofu is added to this dish. So that way, if you miss something, if you're driving, if you cannot watch the whole video, luckily I've already curated these videos over the years you know, pretty much in 2020, y'all, I was grinding. I was videotaping and creating these things so that we have them today. So let's go ahead and show you this particular potato salad in our two minute video. So that way I can grab a bowl where all of this is going to go into. While you're watching the two minute video of the potato salad though, what I'll do is I'll grab the bowl, I'll chop up the tofu, but I won't season the tofu until you all are back because you don't necessarily have to marinate it. I have a trick to show you how it works. Now, all I have to do is find the recipe for the potato salad. I'm sorry, you all. I'm looking in the um, in the archives as I speak. Let me see what you all are saying with the comments. Oh, y'all remember Black girls getting their shift together when she was a guest here on the show. What happened was I made quinoa and she says she's added quinoa to her kale salad because of my show. Oh, thank you so much. You know what, Black girls getting their ship together. This dish is going to be delicious. And Six Bowls, I wish you were here too, because if you weren't hungry, this will make you hungry. And look, everyday life of an OCD is chick is saying, okay, cool. We ready for it. All right. So let me find the potato salad recipe. So that way you all can see it all at once. And you don't have to worry about coming back and watching things in between me talking to you, talking to the chat. And of course, we will wrap today's episode up with our um, surprise from Canva, because I told you that at the top of the show, if you are not a Canva user, get on it, y'all. It has everything you need. Here's your recipe, plant-based treat. Potato salad. I have about eight potatoes. I'm just going to cube them up. Potatoes help you have the healthy bones and heart with their iron, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, vitamin B6, vitamin C, fiber, and potassium. Cover and boil for eight to 10 minutes until it's almost soft. It's like really good. It tastes like eggs in it. Why, it tastes like eggs are in it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you some more. An egg substitute for my potato salad. Got about a cup of water and I'm going to add some of my bouillon. Uh, take out like a tablespoon. Potatoes also have folate, which helps with cell repair and prevents DNA mutations that may lead to cancer. Half a teaspoon of curry. We're going to chop up our tofu. Make sure you get the super firm. Curry has a variety of anti-inflammatory spices like turmeric, coriander, and chili powder. Tofu is full of isoflavones, which reduce the risk of heart disease, breast cancer, and osteoporosis. Just add all of the tofu in here. Remove the cooked potatoes from the water about a teaspoon of salt or about, or more, like two tablespoons of sugar. Let's add the condiments. 
I'm gonna start with the mustard because you just put a good squeeze, like two teaspoons. About three tablespoons to start of the veginase, two tablespoons of relish. Gently mix in the condiments. About a fourth of an onion. Onions are full of vitamin C for fighting cold and prostate and lung cancers. So this is what the black salt looks like. Black salt has antioxidant properties and it's surprisingly low in sodium. It has iron, calcium, magnesium, and reduces heartburn and bloating. Why are you moving your spoon like that? <laughs> trying to dip it in again? I see you. All right. Do you have any hot dogs with this? All right, y'all, we are back. I'm chopping up this tofu. I hope you enjoyed all of the goodness that was there. And it looks like we're ready to kind of put this thing together. Look, the everyday life of an OCD chick, chick says she loves curry powder in potatoes. Y'all know what that means. All you have to do is add what you like, right? So that's a base recipe for you, but you really can add what you like. Look, Six Bowls is back. It's like, yes, Black girls getting their shift together. Loves it. And of course, black girls getting their shift together is talking to Gail at night. Y'all know Gail at night is a moderator that I pay. Um, I started paying her way back in the day before she got real busy. And I don't know if she's still real busy, but I know we're personal friends and she ha always has a lot of things going on. But I do appreciate her being here because she's one of those people that paid or not, she is here, right? She was like, oh, girl, I got you. And I'm like, well, you know, again, I do believe that a the highest compliment is cash. So if you can't afford to pay people, pay them, y'all. Pay them because, you know, this way our community dollars, they circulate in the right way. So I've cut this tofu up into a lot of small cubes, and I'm going to put it into this container with a little bit of two things. The liquid aminos is going to give you some instant, um, uh, instant depth of flavor. So this is like a soy sauce, but way less sodium. OK, so I'm going to just throw a little bit of that, a squeeze of mustard, and I will also add what else am I going to add? Um, the black salt, because the black salt gives you the egg flavor. OK, so this is about a tablespoon. And remember, the black salt is salt. So that's another reason why you don't need a lot of. Oh, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of oil, too. You don't need a lot of the liquid aminos. I'm going to add about a teaspoon of mustard. And then I'm going to add an extra virgin olive oil. If you are not an oil user, you don't have to add it. I've already added oil to this particular dish. I mean, to this particular container. So all I'm going to do now is stir up that mustard. So it just blends in a little bit and then throw in the tofu. Y'all, we're about, this dish is all about to come together in the next minute or so. Look, thank you so much, Whitney O'Neill Williams saying, uh, phenomenal show 2024, the year of the phenomenal woman. <laughs> now, y'all know when you do that trill, you got to put your hand to the side of your mouth to really make it carry. So if you want to give somebody a compliment so they can hear you down the street, that's how you do it, Okay. Just like that. You move your tongue real fast. Y'all know how to do that. Move your tongue real fast. So what happens is she fires bought some golden milk from my Amazon store. Y'all know golden milk has turmeric. That's one of the main ingredients that's going to help. It has that ashwagandha, which is a ginseng, right? I'm going to put this tofu in here. I'm going to press it down. So that way the tofu soaks up the oil and the coconut, excuse me, not coconut aminos. Coconut aminos are kind of sweeter. The liquid aminos are a soy product and they're salty. Coconut aminos are salty and sweet, but I'm today using the liquid aminos. So that's why I'm pressing this just to make sure they get in there. So see, one side is yellow and one side is not because that's the side that I pressed down. The yellow side is what I pressed down. Look, the Kenyans are showing us what to do. Yoga with Gogo is in Kenya to my Y'all see how fast he got it going on. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all. The love is real. Okay, so Coach Mary Ma says, your hands know all the measurements. You are phenomenal. No, I appreciate that because she's also telling us that this is a master chef recipe. I appreciate that from our Cameroonians and our Nigerians like Share With Love TV saying, looks yummy. Child, when I tell you it is, I'm not lying. 
Y'all gonna find out tomorrow because I'll be back at Skyline 21. Remember, they're the ones that are helping me get those contracts. Mm -mm -mm. Yum. Y'all, if somebody mama was here to slap, not my mama. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know if y'all met my mama before. She's from Harlem. You ain't slapping that mama. I don't care where your mama from. You better not slap your mama. You find somebody else's mama. Or Y'all didn't hear me say that. Y'all did not hear me ask for my mother-in-law. The point I'm trying to make is this. Put that black salt up there. Just shake some up there. Because mainly what it's going to do is give you that egg flavor by giving you that egg smell. Okay? So I'm going to just shake that up. It's on there tight. Let me see what y'all are saying in here. Thank you for the love, Goga. I appreciate that. Oh, black girls getting their shift together is telling um, Coach is telling Kelly of She Fires that she's going to purchase that. Y'all check out She Fires channel. She's all about self defense. You know, I've never been a fighter other than when I was a kid. I used to fight my brothers and sisters. I have eight, and I was always fighting them. Just getting practice for what? I ain't been fighting since I left the house, and I stopped fighting before I was a teenager. Fighting my family and friends, you know, and it was only the family because again, I didn't even fight the friends. But don't get it twisted. I don't know if y'all seen these guns over here, if y'all seen my agility, but um, and, and my mama from Harlem, I will take you down. But I, I, I show love. Let me just say that. For those of you that know me, you know that I prefer love over anything because you get further. Mm -mm -mm. What they say? You can um, call more flowers with sugar than shipments of things that come in. Okay, so let's see what else y'all are saying. Coach Mary Ma saying his finger looking good. This is soft enough now. Y'all stop laughing. Y'all know I'm crazy. Um, this is done. I'm going to transfer this to the big bowl that I have, and I'm going to finish it up, okay? Look, you know what's good when you're rocking back and forth. What's I? I always end up rocking back and forth accidentally when I am um, when I get good food. Look, I will slap my mother-in-law. Child, your mother-in-love. See, some of y'all have a mother-in-love. Some of us don't. And some of y'all from Brooklyn, like Whitney O'Neill Whitney Williams, she said, spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. All right, now, that's what I'm talking about. Gail at night is over there laughing, and she's also reminding you all to please check out the Super Blue Parents Amazon store. Y'all know we have this solution here for you. Um, I showed you all earlier the sweet smelling kitty kit because Urinator was in here asking about like, hey, Sometimes I stink up the room when I told y'all, go to the Amazon store under the sweet smelling kitty kit. The first thing right there is the chlorophyll. Boom, we got you, right? But if you go back to the home page of the Amazon store, you'll know you're there. You'll see the banner right at the top. And then once you come down, you'll see all the different kits that we've curated. So let's put this dish together and let's, you know, let's finish this up. Oh, Coach Mary Ma says, siblings always fight, but with love. Yeah. Because, you know, there are certain rules. When you fight in your family, you don't hit them in the face. You don't hit them too hard. You know what I'm saying? You're just practicing for, for, for life, for like that boss you don't like, for all of those people that are getting on your nerves in real life, right? Okay. Let's see how this comes together. I'm going to take this bowl and put the potatoes in here. Y'all know what? Let me turn this off because I'm about to get burned again. So I turned the pot off and then I'll put the top over here. Guess what? When I went into the kitchen, I did not have any pickle relish. So this is why I want to use, hold on y'all. This is why you use a cooktop. I think this is cool enough to put this on. This is why you use this um, induction cooktop because it, the, it cools down very quickly. So it's safe. So here we go putting the potatoes in. Remember, I don't have any, any pickle relish, but that's where these onions come in because they're in the lime juice. It'll taste, it'll give you that pickle relish flavor because I use that when I make other salads as well. So I'm going to put that in this bowl. And remember, Canva is coming. I have something so super simple to show you all in Canva that y'all are going to be like, wait, 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 can we just get a whole show with just the Canva stuff? You absolutely can. I'll do that on another day because if you're not using Canva, it will help you. Y'all know, what's the what's the name of the company? There's a major brand that recently had a commercial showing how they use Canva. Canva is not just for us everyday creators. It's for all of us. And the nice thing about Canva is that it also has 
it all canva also has things in there Ooh, that potato just hit my leg y'all and i felt fire that potato <laughs> it just blessed my soul i ain't gonna shed a tear canva y'all is for the everyday creator they have video editors in there so you don't have to edit videos anymore i don't know if you all saw the video that i created today but that's what I'm going to show you on Canva momentarily. Stop laughing, Coach Mary. Child, that is not funny. The way that potato touched me. <sighs> Y'all remember that church song, uh, He Touched Me? And know oh, the joy that floods my soul. <laughs> wow, it was crazy. Coach Mary Ma is in there laughing. And yes, Whitney O'Neill Williams is on it. She says they Canva just launched the magic today. So that's what I'm going to show you all hot off the press. What's going on? All right, so let's get back to this Super Chef creation. We're finishing it up with some of our, my favorite one, Veginase. That is the mayonnaise that I prefer. I did tell you all that Veginase has a lot of oil in it. So if you are against oil, if you are against canola oil specifically, which is like one of the top poisons, carcinogens, I just hope all the fiber and nutrients in these vegetables will combat that. So I just keep using it. So I'm going to put some dollops in there. I'll also add a squeeze of mustard. Remember, we need the squeeze of mustard. And then I'm going to add my adobo seasoning. That's one of my favorites. I'll add a pinch of that and a pinch of the Sazon Complete. Okay. So, and then I'll just stir it up once I put in my pickles and my seasoning. So this does have parsnips, onions. There's our Sazon, by, uh, Sazon Complete by Badia. That's the brand. This is also in our Amazon store. So if you're looking for it, go get it. If it's not in your grocery store, you can easily find it on Amazon and have it delivered to your door. So let's see. We also have here uh, Sonia Tube coming in from Namibia. Hey there, Sonia Tube. You just in time for dinner. See, you came at, at the, you always doing those church videos talking about the pastors, but here you are coming in like the pastors with the craziness. Y'all know she tells, tells us all the crazy stuff these pastors are doing, like sitting in the den saying, I'm sitting in the den with lions. She had a video showing a pastor sitting in there with lions in a cage to show that, you know, I guess that God is, I don't know, but that's on YouTube's purpose is to show you all the nonsense. Get yourselves together. Don't follow people just for following sake. Where are the eggs? Right here on my lap. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. So on YouTube is saying nice. Yeah, yeah, child. You just in time for the potato salad. And I think, you know, the stuff that you're showing us from Namibia, so on YouTube is the only word is craziness, right? So y'all keep your hands clean. That way you can actually use your hands when you're making your food. You don't have to be afraid. Your hands are the best tool. And you can also feel the measurements too. Okay. And when you're cooking for other people, this is for me and my family today. We eat from the same bowl often. We'll literally put a bowl on the table. Like when we're eating our Ethiopian or Nigerian food or Ghanaian food, we eat with our hands. And so, uh, and often we'll just eat from the same bowl, even if it's with a spoon. That's why I'm using my hands. When you're cooking for other people, either wear a glove, because people like to see that, right? Or the other thing that you can do is you can... Um, Wipe your hands in between. Even if it's with a dry towel, there's some sort of facade. Now people feel like you're cleaner when you're probably just as dirty, if not worse. But my whole point here is that the potato salad is finished. We don't have to wonder at all who made the potato salad. And this gives you five different vegetables. So that's 25 points. On your own time, y'all, or you, if you don't have time, go to superfoodparents.com, scrolling at the bottom of the screen. You'll see just how, um, what nutrients are in these different foods. If you're wondering, let me try this because it might be time for the super clap sign off. Hmm. When I think of the goodness of Quita and all that she's done for me, my soul cries out. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is good. We're going to get into some craziness with Canva so that we can do our super clap sign off because we are way, way overdue. Okay. So as we sign off, I'm going to turn on, I told y'all, my family, we double dip, we eat behind each other. It's fine. I don't like to eat on camera because it takes my lipstick off. And when my makeup comes off, y'all will mistake me for my husband. So we're not doing that. We're not doing too much of that, but let's get into it. Let's show you all Canva. 
and what they're doing here, okay? As I turn up the clap music, because my video today, I did use this super clap music from DJ Is, and the one that you hear now playing in the background, and I'm going to show you all some of the magic as we sign off. So y'all can leave at this point, child, this is real good. Um, now that I'm in a smaller screen, I'll eat a little bit in the background. Uh, child, I would tell him that you said, hey, but you know, he don't say nothing, he don't say nothing to me, I don't say nothing to him. We just doing this until we are not. So let's get back to the food because yes, it is yummy. So here's, here's what I love, y'all. They have all these magic features. Magic Studio, Magic Design, Magic Switch, which means they'll switch it from one document to another. I'm going to go over here to Magic Video. Let's see, Magic Expand, Magic Edit, Magic Animate, Magic Design for Videos. Boom. I'm going to click this one here. And then once I click Magic Design for Video, they say, fast forward your video editing. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to open Canva up on my phone so y'all can see that whether I am... I'm going to click try magic design. I can edit this from my phone and from the computer at the same time, which means you all will see everything. Y'all, the show is over. These are just all the bonuses. I see y'all in there clapping it up. Thank you so much, Coach Mary Ma. I appreciate you. Um, the Everyday Life of an OCD is Chick. And a hey, Whitney O'Neill Williams. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. So... Let me make sure I switch over to where I am. Once I clicked on that edit thing, it brought me to this screen, right? So this is where the magic is going to happen. All I'm going to do is, I'm on my phone and I'm on here. Look, Whitney is saying, oh, wow. I'm going to hit the plus button on the screen. I don't know why it's taking so long. Like I'm supposed to have something over here on the left side. So I'm going to close some of these tabs. That way it'll probably work better. It'll work faster. Because you know, internet is a thing, y'all. I'm going to eat out of this bowl while nobody's looking. Mm, mm, mm. I do need somebody to slap. For real, for real. Y'all know how when the food is good, you got to slap somebody. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so potatoes take a lot of salt. I would prefer a pinch of salt, and I ain't gonna lie, I like a little sugar in my potato salad. But we don't have to do that, because a lot of y'all got health problems, so let's finish it up. Mm, mm. I am going to um, choose a couple of pictures. I'm going to go up food. And what they'll do is they're going to show me all of the pictures I've uploaded. A lot of these are text to image photos, y'all. So the text to image photos that I'm going to add are, I used those girls this morning that I created on today's thumbnail that were confused. But I think I'm going to also choose some of these other people as well. I, what is going on, y'all? I can't even be great. I can't even show y'all. The internet ain't doing it for me. Oh, oh y'all see right here. I think one picture loaded up. <laughs> this is sad. Let me add up. Let me add another one. I'm just gonna add a few different ones. Um, let's see. I'll add those burritos. These are all AI pictures that I created in Canva, okay? All I'm trying to show y'all is that Canva automatically made the video for me. That That's all I'm trying to say is that, yeah, that's how it happened. It, it ain't working right now. So I think I'm gonna have to show y'all another time and I'm gonna just clap it out. I'm gonna just eat. I'm gonna just eat and, and you know, do my thing. But what I will do, is I will tell you to go to my YouTube channel. And so that way you can see the video that was auto created for me by Canva. Once I clicked on three pictures, they asked me, what do you want the video to be about? I told them I wanted it to be about potato salad, um, using this, not that. And look, they they did it. They They did it like super quickly. So I'm going to show you that video here. 
I'll mute it. How do I mute it? I don't know how to mute the video. Oh, there it is. I'm going to mute the video and I'll just show you all what uh, what Canva did for me, okay? Let's just switch over to this one. So that way you can see that it automatically made this video. That's all I was trying to show y'all, that this was automatically made. So let's just do the super clap sign off and get up out of here because that's where we are. We are finished for today. Uh, y'all are still dancing. Y'all are still having a good time. I'm going to go eat potato salad and peace out. Have a good day, you all. Thank you for being here. Mm, mm. Be a health hero for your loved one, y'all. Don't forget, that's the whole point of it all. Get your fruits and vegetables 50% of every meal. That's all you got to do. I'll see y'all next time.